Today I'm going to talk about applied actions. So I have a bar line chart here of car sales based on this data source that you see down here. I'm looking at the make of the car and the dollars sold. What I want to do with this is, tell, is find out how many dollars sold uh, for each specific make of the car. So we have applied actions in our system for grouping data. So we'll take a look at that first. So if I go to the properties of the x-axis, I can select group repeating labels. So if I check this, my data uh, becomes grouped and I get the result that I want. Uh, you can also access this menu from right clicking on the component and selecting group or unchecking it to ungroup the data. Once I have my data grouped, I may want to do other applied actions in the system. So the uh, series is automatically aggregated uh, based on that grouping, and you have several different aggregation methods that you can see here um, in the properties panel. By default, the aggregation method will sum the data, uh, but of course you can apply other ones such as average, as I have done here. Um, in addition to the grouping and the aggregation, another action that you can do is sorting your data. So I'm going to sort now my series from highest to lowest. And I select that and you can see again the visualization has automatically updated. You have a visual cue here to tell you if you have a sort action applied and uh, what, uh, what direction that action is going on. At the component level itself, you can click here on this uh, applied actions menu and see all the actions you've applied. So here I've grouped my data and then I've sorted my data. The actions are applied in the order you see in this list. So I'm going to delete those actions for now and go back to our original chart and look at uh, our additional action of filter. So if I want to take advantage of filter, I'm going to right click and go to the filter menu. I can filter out specific members of a set of data. So in this case, I'm going to show an example where I remove BMW. And you can see BMW is no longer in my data set. Um, I'm going to clear that filter and go back in to look at another filter option. So I can filter based on a condition. So I can look at matches, ends with, does not match, things like that. Um, so I'm going to do does not begin with T to filter out anything that begins with T. And you can see here now I have my list and it's excluding all the values that uh, had uh, Toyota in them. I'm going to go back and clear that filter again and talk about numeric filters. So the series is numeric data. So again, we have the ability to apply filters on that. And in this case, we can specify based on a range. So you can use the slider to drag uh, to the value you want, or you can specify a specific value. So here I'm going to filter out anything below 300 and just keep data from 300 to 500. And there's my data filtered that way. Uh, once I have my filter, of course, I can still group my data. Um, and for my aggregation, I can still sum or average or whatever aggregation method I want. Um, and once again, I can apply my sort from highest to lowest. So that's a quick look at actions. So just to repeat, actions allow you to group your data, sort your data, as well as filter your data in a quick and easy way. Thanks for watching.